Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. Our reservations are at 13, or I assume that's 1 o'clock. Oh crap! I quickly sat up and Yuri climbed off of me. I saw her be slowly begin to panic. What's that? Ah, it's a present for Sayori. I walked over to her house and Yuri followed. A present for Sayori? Let's f***ing go! And as usual, you've included a new bow. She took off her red bow and with a practiced form, she put in her new one. I love it. What? <laughs> Okay, so she is not the imposter, so thank goodness, thank goodness I called in my uh, my private investigator for this, because if she really is, then I would have used the thing and, you know, but oh, thank goodness. Anyway. I love it. Thank you, Finn. This is the best Christmas ever. I jokingly rolled my eyes and snickered. You say that every year. Wait, I do? I shook my head. Never change, Sayori. What? Hey, that's my line. She playfully punched my shoulder. But afterwards, she hugged me again. I'll see you later, Finn. I hope you enjoy your date with Yuri. And Merry Christmas, Yuri. She waved to the girl that was trying to hide behind me despite her being taller and bigger. But not in a fat way. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas. Sayori nodded to herself, clearly content. Bye bye. Farewell. See ya. She closed her door and we were left standing on her porch. I turned back to Yuri and grabbed her hand. Let's go. He nodded, the smile on her face. Sayori mentioned that you got her a bow as usual. You guys gift each other things like that often? Of course. You really are close with her, huh? Definitely. I've known Sayori for years. We're practically family. She'll always be my dearest friend. Yuri looked relieved at my answer. I'm very happy that you have such a good friend. Sayori is a very sweet girl. I chuckled. You sound like my mom. Uh, is that bad? I shook my head. Nah, my mother was a very nice woman. Oh, good. Thank you then. I nodded. Of course. I grabbed her hand. Now. Let's actually get to lunch. Oh no, he, you're right. I gotta hurry. Yuri began to jog, dragging me along with her. Oh joy. Exercise. It's not bad, I mean, I like walking better. Yuri eventually quit jogging and s instead settled for a fast walk. She must not be too used to exercise either. Heh. <laughs> Bookworm. Anyway, we've been walking through the suburbs for a while. Nearly out, though. I'm exhausted. I need to exercise more. It's been 20 minutes by foot, all right. We're nearly there. I groan internally. Sounds good, babe. Kill me. When I was running to get flowers for, um, her, I at least had adrenaline to go off of. Club, dang it. Yuri wants to hold my hand and walk at a brisk pace. Uh, I'm not against that. But it's just killing all of my energy. And we're here. Wherever this is. Ooh la la. Okay. Just a um, normal fast food joint. Seems to be some fast food esque restaurant, but the lighting is giving me a completely different vibe. It's like someone tried to make a normal restaurant fancy. It's not bad or anything. It just feels off. Uh, also? Yuri? Yes? 
It's Christmas Day. How the heck did you get us into this restaurant? It should be closed, shouldn't it? Well, uh... Well, what's up, guys? Oh, hello, Natsuki. Been a while since I seen you since the, uh, the festival. Wait, what? Wait, what? Natsuki, what are you doing here? I turned to Yuri. Figured this would be a date. What? You're not a fan of me being here? That's not what I said. Yeah, yeah, I get it. She waved her hand, effectively silencing me. Merry Christmas, Yuri. Natsuki said, sounding purposefully uncharacteristic. Ugh. Oh, um, Merry Christmas to you as well, Natsuki. I saw her face practically light up at what Natsuki had said. This better not be some act on Natsuki's part. Thanks. Better hope this ain't staged. So, what? Why are you here? I asked bluntly. He never answered me. Jeez, so damn impatient. My father owns the restaurant. Oh? Natsuki owns this restaurant? That's pretty cool. I just work here sometimes. You have a job? I asked. That was a little mean. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's her family business, so... <laughs> hey, you're lucky I'm allowing you two in here. Do you think any restaurants will open up for you on Christmas? So I'd watch my tone if I were you. I slowly inhaled and then slowly exhaled. Calm down. Don't ruin Christmas for petty crap, Finn. I apologize for acting that way. But I'm still just a little curious. Would you mind if I ask some general questions? Sure. Why are you open? Oh, well, that's easy. Me and Yuri made a deal. My, I turned my head back to Yuri. A deal? What is it? You did? What was the deal? Um, well... Yuri is incredibly hesitant to describe the deal. What the heck did you agree to? She better not alter the deal to make it worse. <laughs> Fine, I'll, I guess I'll do it. I open up the restaurant and she has to fully read a manga series of my choice. A series? Natsuki nodded. A series. Oh my glob. And Yuri, you agreed. S just so we could eat lunch? I did what I had to do. I was staring intently at her. Well, I'm not entirely sure what series Natsuki recommended her. Better be not Madoka Magica. My glob. Anyway, why don't you two take a seat? I can get you guys some drinks and you can enjoy your day. I nodded but did a double take. Sorry to ask all these questions. She groaned. But don't you want to enjoy the day? Surely you can hang out with your dad on Christmas. No, I can't. He decided to take a vacation to America with his girlfriend. Without me. Oh, I... Shoot. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's okay. I'm used to it. Anyway, enough about me. Go take your seats and I'll be back out with a notepad, <laughs> notepad to write down your drinks in a jiffy. Natsuki pointed to a table and went off in the direction of what I presume is the kitchen. I nodded and turned to Yuri for the final time. Shall we? Let's shall. I chuckled and nodded my head at the nearby table. Yuri sat down first and I sat down across from her. I stared at her beautiful purple eyes and began to feel my head drift, like the world took a back seat to everything. I quickly snapped myself out of it. That was... weird. I wasn't even focusing on her eyes. What? What are you focusing at? Come on. I just felt myself leave my own head. I shook said head. You look like you're going through a lot. It's only been 8 seconds. I chuckled. Sorry. I'm zoned out. She nodded and giggled. That sounds a lot like you. I grinned. Sure does. Okay. Ah! Jeez! I turned to face Natsuki. You scared me. Oh, did I? 
I shook my head. Of course. Anyway, yeah? She waved around the notepad. What do you guys want to drink? Ah, right. Well, what do you have? Uh, we have Spite, Croak, Fanto. Ah, right. Copyright. <laughs> well, can I have a Sprunk instead? I'll just take a Spite, please. A Sprunk. Yeah, I'll just take a Sprunk. <laughs> uh, GTA reference. She nodded and wrote something down. And for the lady? Just the water, please. <laughs> just water! Yeah. Just water. Water. She muttered, writing something. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. She walked off, but didn't get far. Oh, right. She turned back around. You guys have cash, yeah? I raised an eyebrow. Cash? Why cash? Part of the deal was that I get, full, I get paid fully in cash. I felt my heart drop to my feet. Yuri, babe, I don't carry cash. Oh, I know. I went and got some from the bank. When did you have time to do that? My bank is open 24 hours. I got it yesterday. Well, that's convenient, I get. Wait, wait a minute. Yes, honey? Are you trying to tell me that you plan on paying? Yes, why? Uh, it's our first date and you're paying? Yes, is there a problem with that? I mean, kinda. Well, if I haven't left my wallet in the house eh, and then she wouldn't have paid in the first place. It just goes against what I was taught growing up. The guy always pays on the first date. She giggled. What's so funny? It's hardly our first date. We've been over to each other's houses plenty of times. I consider those dates. I too, I do too, I guess. Well, of course, the simplest things make it okay. Simple house date? It's not so bad. But this is our first restaurant date. At least let me pay you back. She shook her head. No way. I'll let you get the next one, though. Uh, fine. I throw my hands into the air. Internally, at least. So, am I getting paid in cash or not? Yes, Natsuki. She chuckled softly. He will be paid. Sweet. Well, that's all. I'll be back in a moment. She walked off, finally getting going to get her drinks. Wait. Natsuki turned back around. Yeah? What are your, um, wine selections? Our wine? The wine? What? What the heck? Since when do you drink? Uh, I don't, really. Well, then why? But since it's a special occasion, I figured it would be okay. She chuckled. I'm not going to become an alcoholic anytime soon, so you don't have to worry. I'm less worried and more just confused. I shrugged. But whatever. If you want it, you can have it. It's no skin off my back. Well, good. She turned to Natsuki. And I know it's not exactly illegal to serve alcohol to someone underage. But surely my good friend can give me the hook? Uh... Oh! I chuckled. You mean the hookup? Um... Yes. She faced Natsuki again, who seemed to be considering something. Uh... Sure. We've been... We've been... <laughs> beaten this... This to death, so it's Christmas. So you can have whatever you like. Now, our selection is rather varied. Would you like, uh... I tuned their conversation out. I didn't know anything about wine. I didn't know the difference between a Marlet or a Malbec. And what the heck does it mean when a wine gets the prefix in it? Alright, sounds good. Natsuki said, interrupting my musings. She then walked off, presumably to get the drinks. I turned my attention back to Yuri. 
Finally, we're alone. Um, we're having drinks for lunch. That's um, that's odd. No food, no anything. All right. Consciously, I frown slightly. Are you not happy about Natsuki being here? She whispered, practically reading my mind. I was. Yeah. I whispered back. I'm really thankful she allowed us to be in her restaurant, don't get me wrong. But I just wish she could tone down the snark. I practically got into a fight with her as soon as we walked in. Yuri read my feelings and intertwined her fingers with mine. She lightly squeezed my hands. I know. She's not exactly the best company for when we want to have a relaxing date. No offense to her. I smiled softly at her words. Never the rude one, are you, Yuri? But I get what you're saying. Let's just try to keep positive, okay? It's a special day today. She smiled with a broken smile. Uh, you're trying to do what I do, aren't you? Did it work? <laughs> I burst out laughing. <laughs> oh man, I really needed that. Yes, Yuri. Yes, it worked. I'm sorry for laughing, but man, that was so funny. I'm glad my efforts to make you feel better were so funny. She winked. Clop dang. I am not used to her actually teasing me. Anyway, she lowered her voice. Let's have a good time, okay? Just try your best to ignore her. That sounds wrong, but let's just be thankful we could spend the day together. She kissed my hand. Blech! Natsuki! Y Yuri put a hand to her head. You have to stop sneaking up on us like that. That's twice now. Sorry! She wasn't sorry. Of course, just being so... Ah, uh, snarky. But I have you drinks. Natsuki set down a glass of dark red liquid. And a cup what, of what looks like fizzy water. Perfect. Now, do you guys know what you want to eat? Or have you not even bothered to look over the menu yet? I frowned, but then I felt Yuri squeeze my hand twice. I took a deep breath. That second thing. Oh, for the love of... Natsuki whispered and then took her own deep breath. Well, the menu on the wall isn't accurate for what I can serve you. So I don't blame you for not knowing what you want. But just say something you like and I'll see what I can do, okay? I'm a pretty good cook. Uh... Well, uh... So, do any of you have food allergies? I don't want anybody dying on me. I don't have any. I'm allergic to peanuts, but otherwise, none. Good to know. Thank you, Yuri. She wrote something else down. Now, what are your orders for Master Chef Natsuki? Uh Dang it, now I blank on I want a, on what I want to eat. Can you make a katsudon? Sure can. Went on shopping went on a shopping trip yesterday and picked up all sorts of ingredients for stuff like that. Chicken or pork? Pork. She wrote something down on a notepad. Again, presumably the order. Oh, a pork katsudon. Never tried it, but um I uh I, I did uh, had um uh, I forgot the name, but it was pretty good, but katsudon? I would really love to try that one day. Rice or noodles? Rice? Since when is katsudon served with noodles? Um, unless if it's a katsudon ramen, I think. I, again, I'm not entirely sure about Japanese food. Still, I think it is a good combo unless if you want katsudon ramen, I think. Uh, that would be very, that would be a very interesting combo. Alright. She turned to Yuri. What about you, sugar? Um... Uh, how about just the chicken salad? Like the mayonnaise kind? Or just a salad with chicken? Salad with chicken. You got it! Natsuki wrote something down on her piece of paper and then walked off. 
I guess she's gonna go make our food now. Uh... Sweet. I watched as Yuri took a sip of her drink. She lightly smacked her lips as she... Savored the taste, tried to deduce the taste. I guess the latter, but I really don't know. Might as well say something though. What does it taste like? Hmm? Oh, the wine? I nodded. Is it good? She nodded enthusiastically. I actually really enjoyed it. I tried to get something I had ne I never had before, which doesn't usually go well. Um. <laughs> oh man, the wine. Uh, it really brought me uh, one memory back when I was with my uh, with my mom in uh, in a uh, during our vacation. Um. Short story time. If you want to skip to this uh, to this uh, time skip right here, go ahead. Um, sorry for that one. Just really want to to get this out for you guys. So anyway, um, me, my mom, and my uh, my adoptive brother, I think, or stepbrother. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we're in this restaurant in a hotel where we're going to stay, which is a um, a spa and resort hotel. I think it is. Um, so we're we're in that place and in the restaurant while we were. Um, waiting for our food, the um, the server offered us some uh, some red wine, and with that, I tried red wine for the first time, and I drank it, and I was like, "Yeah, that like this is literal. That is literally my face when I first tried red wine, and it just tastes so terrible." I think. Um, I never had wine myself, but the first time I tried it, it's just so hilarious. And, and it's, oh man, <laughs> oh man, oh man. And I was jury, and I was around. I think I can tell if I was 17 or 18 at the time, but you know, I think it was around that because, well, again, I was in a vacation. I was at vacation, or well, in vacation, whatever, with mom, with my mom that visited from abroad in a, in a while so <laughs> and that's my first time trying out red wine and it's uh it's really something but um i guess i'll succumb into the uh, into its flavor another time if i ever ever get to try it again but the first time it's just so bad it just it just tastes weird and bitter and all that jazz so yeah that's that's the end of uh, of Finn's story time for you so if you guys want me to tell more stories similar like this or i don't know if unless if the mod reminds me of something i don't know let me know in the comments down below fellow knights <laughs> uh, and, but anyway let's continue but i heard this one wasn't so, wasn't bad so i figured i might as well give it a shot you took another sip the taste itself seems to have some hints of something almost floral which isn't too out of the ordinary along well along with well grapes given it's a red wine but while the taste is nice there isn't really much kick to it most likely hasn't been aged for too long although i taste hints of oak so it was definitely stored in a barrel What's confusing though, is why they would leave it in a barrel long enough to leave the imprint, but not leave it in too long enough to make it stronger. She shrugged. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. It tastes good so I wouldn't think about it too hard. Uh, holy heck. She can pick all of that from a few sips. How's your spite? Or sprunk. It's a uh, spite. But how did you do that? Do what? Describe the taste like that. You said you tasted oak. Who the heck can they say, who the heck can say they know what oak tastes like? It's really interesting that you know that stuff. Uh, well, uh thank you. But it's nothing too impressive. It's just it's all just stuff you pick up when you well she trailed off. Then when you what? Have been drinking wine like I have. Uh? What do you mean? Yuri, how long have you been drinking wine? I started drinking the occasional glass of wine with my books when I was around 16. Oh well, that's not too bad. 
I'm glad you haven't been drinking it since you were like 12 or something. Underage drinking, that's no good. Oh, heavens no. I know the dangers alcohol can pose to one's health and body. I didn't try drinking any until I knew I was mature enough to handle it. So you don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Drink responsibly. Do not drink when you're, you're underage. That is bad. You already said that. And you know what? I shrugged. I won't worry. You're practically a fully grown woman. You can do what you want and you're responsible enough to make your own decisions. If I stop you, what does that make me? Uh, what? Frankly, I chuckled. It just makes me a dick. She giggled. So, just enjoy your wine. I think I will. She took another sip. Yep, definitely floral. How can you tell? I took a sip of my own drink. Do you eat flowers? She giggled again. Glove, I love that sound. It's actually something called a tur turpinus. I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. That can be found in a plant's essential oils and grape skin. These turpinus have a very distinct floral aroma and that translates into taste. So when a wine tastes floral, you know it was made with actual grapes. Holy crap. Though saying this wine tastes floral isn't exactly anything new. Most wines do taste floral. And that's because of the turpinus, right? She nodded. That's right. All wine is sweet with grapes, so all wine has turpinus. Uh, again, I don't know how to pronounce that. Please let me know in the comments down below, fellow knights. Please correct me. She took a small sip. But this one does have more to it than just grapes, which is why it's interesting. It's what makes all wines interesting. If they all tasted like grapes and flowers, it would be a little boring, right? Mm-hmm. The conversation slowly died out. But I felt it ended on a good note. Until I decided to open my mouth again, I because I can't stand happy silence. I've seen yellow wines before. What's the difference between those and the red those and the red ones? Different types of grapes, you drill bit. Why did you ask that? That's actually because some wines use different types of grapes than others. The red ones use red grapes, and the yellow ones use green. I myself prefer red wines. Why is that? I'm not fully sure of myself. And it might be because of the stronger taste. Right. Well, that actually makes sense. Mm-hmm. The conversation once again went silent, till she grabbed my hand. Uh, wine is something I really like. As she rubbed her thumb on the top of my hand. I'm glad you're willing to learn some stuff about it. I nodded and smiled. Of course. Man, she... She... I really like when she gets passionate like that. When she can just let go and talk about stuff she likes. It really makes her personality shine. Uh... Oh! Now I know why I asked what the difference was. Because I wanted to t hear her talk. Uh, I'm hopeless. I mean, it's, it's a good conversation, so of course, I have to do something else rather than just staying quiet all the time. I set down my fork and, and, and exhaled. That wasn't bad. Atsuki really is a good cook. All done? I nodded. Even if I wasn't, I don't think I could eat any more. Well, I guess he's stuffed. Rice is pure carbs, so it's really filling. She nodded. That it is. I smiled. You know, I started. I'm glad we... Are you guys done eating yet? I stopped and frowned. Yeah, we are. And uh, good luck at the bad timing awards. Yuri laughed, giggled, and grabbed my hand. Tell me later, okay? She squeezed. I'll always listen. Thanks, babe. Natsuki walked up to her table and set down a check. 
I picked it up and read it over. Uh, 30% off? I looked up at her. What's that about? She turned bashful. Yeah, since you guys are my friends, I give you a bit of a discount. Don't make such a big deal out of it, okay? And don't even think about telling your other friends, b b baka I put my hands up. Whoa, hey. I won't tell anybody. Good. But I do really appreciate it. I smiled. I told you not to make a big deal out of it, dummy. Baka. Clean the crap out of your ears. I blinked. I would also like to thank you. It means a lot that you would do that for us, Natsuki. Jeez, you guys are insufferable. But you're still my friends. So you being thankful for my existence makes sense. Not everybody ends up on the right to be called my friend. I smirk. She can be charming sometimes. Of course she is, of course. I'll admit it. Anyway, before we finalize the payment, did you guys want any dessert? Oh. Yes, actually. Yuri spoke up. Do you have any pina colada ice cream? Pina colada ice cream? That's oddly specific. But I'm afraid we don't have any of that. Yuri frowned. It's mostly just various kinds of cake. I'm okay then. What about you, Finn? I'm not hungry. No dessert then? Alright, pay up. Yuri pulled out her wallet and handed Natsuki the money. I still felt guilty for not paying. I'm the guy, dang it. I know she said I could get next, but... Huh, we should stop being so dang insecure. I'm not le any less of a man because I didn't pay on the first date. Uh... Right? Right. Right. I stand up and Yuri follows. Ready to rock and roll? Mm-hmm. She turns to face the pink-haired one. Merry Christmas, Natsuki. Thanks again for letting us have our date here. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Now get going. You guys are bringing down the property value. I would take some form of offense, but the smile she had on her face showed that she was just joking. I sighed internally. I can never tell with her. Sarcasm. It's just sarcasm. And again, she's just messing with you. And I'm gonna let that slide. I waved to her and we began to walk out of the restaurant. Farewell. The door was open and I had nearly stepped out when Yuri stopped me. Actually, can you please wait here for a second? Sure. Well, what's up? I have to, uh, powder my nose. Powder your... Oh! Yeah, no, go ahead. I'll be right here. She nodded thankfully. Thank you very much. Heh. <laughs> We've been dating this long and she's still embarrassed to say she has to use the bathroom? Uh, well, actually, me and Yuri haven't been dating very long. Huh. It sure feels like more time has passed. And that's either a good thing or a bad thing. But you know what? I'm going to say it's a good thing. It means that there's all the more time I can spend with this girl. And that's a pretty dang good deal to me. It is. After around 10 minutes, Yuri came back. No wonder she was embarrassed to say she had to go. Probably would have been... Okay, getting off this topic. I don't want to think about that. I grabbed Yuri's hand and pushed open the door for us. And I was instantly hit with the blinding sun. Well, let's just say a date has been successfully ended. Man, good food, good drinks, and a good conversation about wine. It's good. It's really, really good. And like I said, drink responsibly, fellow knights. Do not drink when you're underage.